Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Adobe After Effects. Before we get started, make sure you smash the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into After Effects. Here we are in After Effects and before we get started, we just have to create um, yeah, a new project and a new composition. I'll name mine as main comp okay so 1920 by 1080 and um, I'll just choose 30 no 25 frames per second and I'll set my duration to 10 seconds okay this is very easy and very simple so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the text tool and I'll just type something interesting like um, Okay, let me just see smooth title okay yeah to keep things simple okay and I'll just change my I'll just change my font type to month okay and I'll choose the extra the heavy demo okay so I'll just scale this up and select the align align it to the center and yeah this is looking very sweet and smooth so what we are going to do now is we'll click on the drop down button here click on animate and position okay so oh my goodness fit so we'll just open our expressions notepad and select this and copy it okay then we come here and we you know you just select the range um selector you know just select the Range selector and delete it. Then you click on the add, come to selector and expression. Okay, then you scroll down, drop this down. You see amount, click on the drop down, and you should see this over here. So you just select, just click and paste. Okay, that's nothing happens at the moment. So what we are going to do is we'll close this up and okay oh, what am I doing okay so animator and let's choose add then we come to property then we come to position okay then we just bring this position down and this how everything just going to be like okay nice very easy but we just don't want everything to be looking big from here we want we want some sort of smooth you know um it should come in smooth that's all i mean so we just come to property we choose the skill and come here again property we choose the skill mm -hmm. and property again uh rotation good so we we'll choose the scale, we we'll turn that scale down to zero, the skew to somewhere like 20, and uh, the skew as this to, uh, to something like 25, and the rotation, I like to keep it minimal, so something like 10, okay, 10 degrees, and this is what we have, okay. We have something smooth and interesting, and I think even from now, uh, we can even use this, you know, it's just smooth and comes in very interesting so let me just keep this in and uh, yeah to keep the shot yeah awesome so what i'm going to do now is i'll close this up okay with the animator one and i'll duplicate it to Control d to duplicate and drop this down the same thing over here and what i'm going to do now is okay i'll just make this 25 or so and i'll make this maybe 30 okay and the rotation will stay the same and i'll come to add okay for the animator tool and i'll add the blur okay and the blur i'll keep it like 50. so if i'm to bring this over here okay so you can realize from this side you begin to feel the blur but i'll just unlock this and make the x um the x value zero so that this from the beginning you know is um from
from the beginning we have a sharp um, look so it's just the text that's fading in or coming in that will be blurred that's very easy and very simple okay and yeah i think it's looking very nice and what i'll do is i'll add a tracking so add property and tracking and i'll set this to i like to see what i'm doing let's increase okay so something like negative 158 you see but with all of this you just have to tweak it in a way that would fit you okay you don't have to do the exact thing i'm doing after any tutorial just try to play around it to get used to it so okay so i think right now we have something smooth and clean but after it comes in i'd want us to fade it out and there's an interesting trick i learned a while ago how to just fade this thing out and what i'll do is i'll duplicate this so ctrl d okay and over here we don't need okay let me just set this to zero okay and this should be 100 the skill we wouldn't need a skill so i'll just delete the skill i'll delete the axis i'll delete the rotation and i'll keep this so i'll just reset it to zero from here and we'll need a range selector so come to the selector okay still on the animator 3 click on add selector range awesome so the blur it's just taking us off guard so we'll just turn this down to zero at the moment then come into the range selector okay on the offset just click on the offset and make this okay this should be zero then i'll just move to um four seconds and i'll make the, um, the offset 100 okay so nothing is really happening over here nothing nothing at all at all is happening so i'll just keep this over here and what i'll do is i'll increase the blade to somewhere like 20 and i'll make the position uh this is the x and this is the y so with the x i'll keep it something like here nine negative uh, negative 25 is fine oh what am i doing oh uh, negative 25 okay it's fine and with the skill i'll just reduce it just a little bit like 96 yeah 96 and i'll add opacity okay to animator 3 add property and we'll choose opacity smooth and we'll just make the opacity zero okay so what we have to do is just be on the in case yours is going this way you should do what i'm about to do <laughs> okay so what we have to do is we rather have to start from 100 okay and move to the next keyframe by pressing k on the keyboard and make this zero okay so when it just starts and it stay on there a little bit and goes in you know this is so what we'll do is we'll push the position in a little bit so that we actually get to feel like uh awesome okay then i think i'll reduce this out reduce the scale to someone like 90. okay good so that it goes it feels like it's moving back also let me just increase this and let's see you know we are done with the tutorial just showing you how we can still add some final tweaks okay so this is just too slow so we just want something that would fade out quickly and uh yeah so this is what we have and it just goes out so you can just play around you know do your own tweaking and all of that and you know once you post it just tag me in it i'll be glad to see what you're able to create so yeah the name is benitesh and um i'll see you in my next video and before i go don't forget smash the follow button in just 2020 star and let's just kick the number out of this <laughs> yeah so i'll see you in my next video